everybody. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Hi, teacher. Hello, everybody. Um, listen, before we start today's TOEFL, and I'm, I'm going to post a message right now in the chat because today's class is optional, of course, only for those who want a second opportunity to improve your TOEFL listening score or your grade for the class. But I want to talk a little bit these first 15 minutes or so about... Uh, final grades and I'm going to post a message here to kind of prompt everyone to watch this recording if they're not here with us today in our live class to catch basically the information that I want to share with you because it's going to relate to to everyone so let me just post here Okay, so this is just to prompt basically those who aren't in class, aren't in our session this morning, to watch the recording. So let me explain a little bit how we're going to finalize the grades for our class, Listening and Speaking. So I've been going through and updating the grades for the podcasts. I have gone through and upgraded or updated the grades for the listening score that everyone took last Friday. And I have started looking at the ePortfolios. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through and grade all of the ePortfolios. And I'm giving everyone until tomorrow to finalize your ePortfolio, but I'm going to grade today your ePortfolio based on what we've been talking about, about what should be included in the ePortfolios. So if your grade is less than what you want for the ePortfolio, everyone's going to have until tomorrow to make the final changes. This will give you an idea. The grade that I give you today will give you an idea about how close you are or if something is missing. But let me... Let me say a few words about, again, what we need to try to include in the ePortfolio. And I'm going to, going to share my screen and I'm going to go to our ePortfolio page. Make sure, guys, that if you have updated your link, if you've changed your link to your ePortfolio, please make sure that it's updated in this page. Let me open it up here, ePortfolio. Because this is the link, this is the page I'm using. All I'm doing is I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna click this link on each one of your ePortfolios. And if I get a 404, right, then I don't have the link. Maybe you've completed the ePortfolio, okay? But I don't have the link. So I'm just going one by one and if I get a 404, if I get a page either that is an old page or just a 404, just an error page like this, right? Well, this is what I'm using. This is what I'm going to refer to for your grade. So it's very simple. If you have updated your, your page, right, just send me a, a message, preferably here as a comment in this page in Notion. Just add a comment like everyone has done so far pretty much, right? So just say, okay, this is my updated link. And I'll get the message. I'll get the message here. I'll get a, an update that you shared that link with me. And then I'll just copy and paste that into this chart, okay? So please, that's the first thing. Make sure that I'm looking at what you completed. I'm looking at the right information. I'm looking at the right ePortfolio. So that's number one. Number two, right? Make sure that your artifacts and and I posted uh, a couple of days ago, I think. I posted to our Microsoft Teams 
a, an explanation. I don't know if, I think it was here. Although I don't see it, it's weird. Sometimes I post things to Teams and it doesn't appear. Uh, I thought it was right under here. But artifacts, that's weird. Hopefully you guys got that message. I posted some examples of what artifacts could be. Artifacts can be Word documents, they can be PDFs, they can be audio files, they can be video files, they can be pictures or images. You can just take a picture and that could be a, an artifact. But an artifact for our purposes is not a book. An artifact is not even an exercise from a book unless you have made notes, maybe you have made annotations, you've, you've maybe highlighted certain text, and you have some sort of um, notes you've written on that, uh, that exercise or that, that book chapter, that article that you read, right? And then as you reflect on that exercise, on that book chapter, on that article, those reflections are artifacts. So remember that the reflections that you're creating are also artifacts. So that's why I'm asking you also to reflect on things that you've done. Artifacts are things that you create, that you've made, that you've performed, that you've completed. These are things that you have done. So again, a book is not an artifact. This is not going to be an, an e-portfolio of resources. This is going to be an e-portfolio of artifacts that you've created, that you've performed, that you've that you've done yourself in the various appropriate classes that you've completed this semester. So I want to make it really clear what an artifact is. In our class, we have a lot of artifacts. An artifact for our class is not a list of all of the, the uh, podcasts that you've created. An artifact is an individual podcast episode. You've created now 15, I think, if I'm not mistaken, you've created 15 episodes you have 15 possible artifacts to choose from, just from the podcast alone. That doesn't count the meetings that you've had with your classmates. Those are individual artifacts. We've had several of those. If you look back week to week, if you go back to the different weeks in each of the groups, right, you can find a lot of possible artifacts to include. If you are particularly proud of your performance for a debate that you did with your classmates, you have that video. That's an artifact. The video, the file itself is an artifact. Your reflection on that experience of performing the debate and preparing the debate, that reflection, that's, an, that's also an artifact. What I'm asking everyone to do is to complete at least five artifacts for our class. Now, five artifacts that are not reflections. So you're going to have five artifacts plus additional reflections that are going to count as more artifacts. And then at least five from other classes. At least five. They can be from different classes in Prope. <clears throat> if you want to focus only on your writing class, for example, or writing and grammar, you can focus on only those two classes. It's completely up to you which other classes that you want to include, but I'm going to ask that you include at least five artifacts and some reflections on those artifacts. Everything, all the, artic all the artifacts that you include, both from our class and the other classes, should have some also, uh, a reflection that, that, uh, where you talk about those artifacts. Okay, So don't include any artifacts that you don't reflect on in your, your e-portfolio. All right, so are there, does that make sense, guys? Is this, uh, does anyone have any questions or want me to ex explain further what I mean by artifacts uh, for for the purposes of this e-portfolio? For example, do you hear me? Yeah, go, go ahead. Okay, for example, right now, uh, I'm going to finish all my portfolio today because you said we have until tomorrow to finish it. Like, oh, and right now 
uh, I have like hours where I, I'm explaining how I feel in that activity, how we did in that activity, but only for example the artifact and the audio. I haven't add images or uh, like the document, you know, and it's what I'm going to do today. And now I was thinking about to put a reflection of all the class in each class that's in the in down in the page. Yeah, so is, is it okay? Yeah, so l let me explain kind of like what I'm how I understand your question and you, and you let me know if I clarify or not, okay? So the the reflection what I'm going to ask is that you reflect very specifically on the artifact or artifacts that you included in your ePortfolio. So imagine that someone is going to your online space, your ePortfolio. They're looking at your page. They're looking at your reading page, for example. They should be able to see an artifact. An artifact could be maybe an image of, of, a, of an article that you read where you are highlighting and making annotations about reading strategies that you performed. The reflection, video or audio, should be very specific about that experience of practicing or learning about reading strategies when reading that particular article. Notice I'm being very specific. Those reflections should be very, very specific to those artifacts, the experiences of creating it, and also your personal opinion about the end product, you know, what happened at the end. But it's, it's not a general reflection about the class. It's more very specific about the different learning experiences that you experienced that you went through to create or finish that product that artifact that you created so again it you could have one ref reflection video per artifact or and or you could have one reflection video that talks about one or two or three different artifacts it's up to you how how you want to you know, how many reflection videos or audios that you want to have, right? But you should talk about every artifact that you have. And I want you guys to be selective. You guys have a lot of options of the artifacts. You have a lot of uh, possible artifacts to include. You need to be selective. Be selective and choose the ones that you either are the most proud of or maybe the, the artifacts that you thought you learned the most Maybe they were the most challenging. Maybe it's not even your best work, but you you leave the experience thinking, "Wow, I learned a lot doing that that thing, that creating that artifact." But that's going to be reflected in your reflection uh, video or audio, and you can do either or. You can do audios reflections, or you can do video reflections. If you even want to share your screen or or whatever, it's up to you. But Make sure that the reflections are specific. Hey, does okay. that does that help? Does that clarify, Tanya? Yes, sure. I got okay. it. And for example, you said you have done with the podcast. And for example, today I was going to complete three ones that I'm missing for. Uh, can I today or not? Or is it very late? Um, I if go ahead and complete today your uh, your podcast. If you're going to complete them. Yeah. Please complete them today. Okay. I, I really want to finish tomorrow, so that I have. I'm going to post your final grades uh, Thursday to the to the system. I want to be okay. done, and I want to uh, make sure that you guys are clear from the beginning. You know what your grades, what your final grades are. So please spend today and tomorrow finalizing, and and uh, you know completing. You know the work that we have here, but uh, really. Okay. Pay attention or, 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 or check very clearly or closely your e-portfolios and, and the notes and the comments that we've been discussing uh, in class uh, for your e-portfolios. All right? I take the chair. I get it. Okay, yeah. so let's go ahead and start. I'll uh, leave a few minutes after the listening. <clears throat> if anybody else has any further questions about the grades or the e-portfolios, if anyone needs further clarification, I'll leave some time after our listening. All right, so uh, go ahead, <clears throat> go ahead and 
open up your browser, open up the link to the today's TOEFL review. Let me pull up the audio. In fact, I'm going to have to, let's... In. Teacher, and yes. where is the document to update the, the questions? You're going to send it by the message? Uh, did I not post it? I thought I posted it. Uh, let me see. Did I post it in the chat? Uh, no. No? Well, in, in uh, yeah. the chat. Or where? Yeah, I posted it. Uh, it's just scroll up a little bit in the chat. You should see the link there. See it? Let me look for it. Ah, yeah. I got it. Yes, All right, I'm going to ask everyone, please, to go ahead and mute your microphone just so that we don't get any background noise or any distractions during the listening. And uh, then once we finish, then we can activate our mics. And uh, if you have questions, of course, then we can address those. All right, let me pull up the audio. All right, uh, go ahead and make sure that you have submitted your responses. Try to do that uh, right away. I think the quiz is going to close at 9.15, so go ahead and submit if you haven't done so already. Tomorrow we can take you uh, again. All right, we're going to have a third and final opportunity to take the TOEFL uh, exam tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, well, 8.15, but we'll meet at 8 o'clock like always. This will be your final opportunity it's optional all of you should have received your score for today i will go in later today and if your score is higher today i will change it in teacher ease otherwise i'll leave it as it was on last friday and again we'll have one more opportunity tomorrow at eight o'clock okay so again we want to try to finish everything tomorrow for listening and speaking for our class and um, if, you, if anybody has any questions right now about your ePortfolio or if you want me to look at your ePortfolio right now, I can certainly do that. Does anyone have any questions about your ePortfolio? Any questions, guys? Um, I don't have questions about the structure um, of the portfolio, but uh, I don't know if what I've done in the reflections are uh, is okay. Uh, can you, without listening to it right now, can you summarize what you included in your reflection, Adan? Yeah. Uh, well, I started a little bit in general. And I don't know if this is okay. Uh, I mean, I talked about the class itself, and and I moved to um, to the artifact. And well, in some cases, I didn't explain, or I was not very specific about um, about the artifact. And I told, uh, and I yeah, I told, uh, or I reflect about. Uh, how uh, how is it that this artifact is going to help me in the future? Okay, um, so should so I focus? For, oh, go ahead. Uh, should I focus on the on, on the artifact uh, in the whole um, in the whole reflection? All right, so. Let me give you some some suggestions because there are there is some flexibility in how you can present your reflections, okay? But um, so it sounds like you have some cases where you started off maybe talking about the class first in general, and then maybe you transitioned and got to the actual artifact itself, and 
you could then yeah or, or, or maybe or maybe um yeah in some cases i did so and and in other cases i um i talked about the artifact in general i don't know how to explain it but in general and all right or yeah all right so let me let me explain a couple of possibilities and then you tell me if what you did you think falls under what I'm explaining, all right? So okay. one option is that you begin general and you start talking about the class and you transition and move into talking specifically about the artifact itself and the experience in, in creating the artifact. That's one option, all right? Another option would be to start speaking specifically about the artifact and then uh, talk and then move general to how it may be related to the overall class, or in your specific case, it might mean transitioning and help and explaining how this will help you in the future. So you're moving from the specific to the general. So those are two options of one, moving from the general to the specific, the second, the specific to the general. But in both cases, notice that we have to somehow get to the experience of creating the artifact, okay? So as long as you're at some point logically talking about the experience of creating the artifact, both the process, right, and also your just own personal evaluation of the end product, right, then I think that's that's the best way. That's that's what I would suggest that you do. All right. So you evaluate yourself to the degree that you're addressing the artifacts. Here's what I would suggest avoiding is including an artifact in your ePortfolio, one that you're that you're proud of, that you are happy with, that you think you got something out of. Because otherwise, I wouldn't include it. Include only those artifacts. That you're that again you're proud of that you think demonstrates maybe something that you know that you can do and or your ethics. So don't include any of those artifacts and not talk about it. Right? Don't reflect on it. All right, because it's a missed opportunity. The whole point of reflection is to talk about those those particular artifacts that you included okay so again there are different ways that you can approach the reflection it can be audio or it can be video you can move from the specific to the general or general to the specific you can tie it into your own personal life you can tie it into your future you can tie it into your past right you can uh, relate it to other aspects of your own personal learning experiences but it's a connection. And what are you connecting? The actual experience of the artifact itself. All right. So does that help, Adan? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, right. And I remember now some, uh, some of the things that I made. For example, I made a document about uh, phrasal verbs. And I'm continuing doing this. And uh, um, in a part of the video, I talked about how or why people consider uh, phrasal verbs hard. Mm -hmm. uh, and for example, in the um, um, Trabalengua, se me fue el nombre, uh, sorry. Um, I explained uh, why is it important to, uh, to make this kind of, um, kind of activities to, to, uh, uh, to talk to natives or to understand natives. Is it correct? Yeah, that's that's fine. That's all good as long as you don't neglect or avoid also talking about the actual experience that you had and 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 some details about the artifact itself. I mean, all of those things that you mentioned are good things to include as long as you provide enough information about the what the how and the why of the actual artifact, the experience of creating it, so that when we hear what you have to say about all these other things, it has more uh, meaning. It's more meaningful, right? Because if you neglect the, um, the actual artifact, it would be like 
we're like we're listening to you say, oh, this, this is good for this and this and then this, but we don't know much about well what you went through, right, or how you felt, or you know why you think that particular artifact is important. It's just you know, so just make sure that you're not neglecting the actual experience of creating the artifact in your overall discussions, uh, in your in your reflections. Okay, that's what I would suggest. Okay. All righty. Um, any other questions? My friends. And about the the length of the video or the audio, uh, it should be five or six minutes, right? Uh, you know, uh, I don't want to give you a, you a time this? frame. Yeah, I really... Like what I'm focusing on, and you'll notice that I have yet, in fact, I haven't said anything about time as far as how many minutes for the um, the reflection audio or videos. Notice I haven't mentioned how many, like number of reflection videos, because that's where it, it really is up to you. What I'm stressing the importance of is that in those reflections, you're talking specifically about the experience in some way or somehow, or you know, that you're talking about the actual artifact and that you're not neglecting, you're not avoiding or leaving out discussing any of the artifacts. That's what I'm listening for. And that's what I want you to focus on. Don't focus on the time, right? And, and don't talk, don't focus. So I don't want you to think, okay, I've got five minutes. I'm going to try to say everything I need to say in five minutes. No, because it depends on how many reflections you're going to do, right? What are you talking about? How many artifacts are you talking about in that reflection? It could be one uh, artifact or it could be two or three. So again, it's just going to depend on those decisions that you make. It's also going to depend on where you're going to put the the video or audio file in your ePortfolio, right? So there are other decisions that you need to think about when, you know, you're creating your file. And I don't want you to think too much about the length. Now, I'll say too much. I, we, I, I'm not expecting like 30-minute reflections, right? So they're, they're, they should be fairly short. And But, yeah, I don't want to give you a time frame for those audios or, or, or videos, because I might tell, if I listen to your audio or video, I might say, well, you know, you might, you need to speak a little bit more because let's say maybe you, you didn't mention what the artifact actually was, or maybe you didn't mention about um, some of the specifics about the artifact in your discussion, right? So yeah, don't think too much about the actual length of the reflection. Think about its contents. Okay. All right. Any other questions, comments? Anybody else have anything uh, to ask or want me to look at uh, something? Teacher. Yes, Carlos. Uh, if I did uh, only videos in my reflections it's okay sure absolutely if you want to do just videos for your reflections that's fine if you want to do just audios for your reflections that's fine as well yeah because uh, do uh, doing an audio i think it's more difficult than a video <laughs> yeah it's up to you I think. it's it's completely up to you it's it's up to you if you want to show your face or not in the in the video right of course i personally like to see the the uh you know the faces of the person who's speaking but it's up to you if you just want yeah i'll give you some flexibility there um i will say and i haven't looked at all of the e-portfolios but uh carlos your uh, e-portfolio really is coming together very nicely i like how you have organized your ideas and you're, you're, you've got some reflections going on there. So uh, I did notice yours was coming together uh, quite nicely. May, again, I want to repeat to everyone, please make sure that I have your updated links. Okay? Please make sure I have your updated links in Notion. 
Again, just send me a quick comment and um, I'll be checking all day today, adding your updated links because I still have some, some ePortfolio links that take me to like an error page, a 404, right? And there's nothing, there's nothing there. There's nothing for me to, to look at. That's what I'm going by. Even if you've created it somewhere else, I, I, don't, I don't see it or I'm not seeing it. So that's why I wanted to keep the Notion page for, for all of us to make it just, I think, easier, right? To have one list of all the ePortfolios so I can just quickly go down the list and access all of your ePortfolios. So please make sure that I have your updated link. And if I don't, please... Share with me your updated link in Notion. Any other questions, my friends? No more questions? Not more for me. All right. Okay, well, I'll, we'll go ahead and uh, conclude today then. Um, and again, try to finish up your ePortfolios for, for, for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be the last day. Um, but yeah, try to work on today and tomorrow your ePortfolio. If you're still doing podcast, please finish for today. Please finish your podcast for today. And if you are doing your podcast, if some of you are still finishing your podcast uh, for today, then I tell you what, try to send me a message. Send me a message in the chat that you updated or completed podcast for, for today so that I can go in and check those. All right. Okay, guys, we'll stop there again tomorrow, 8 o'clock. We'll meet again for anyone. It's optional. Anyone who wants a, another opportunity, even if someone didn't present today, they presented on Friday, and they just want one more opportunity, one more chance to take it on uh, Wednesday, tomorrow. Of course, you can do that. If you just want to take it just to take it and have the experience and the practice, of course, you can do that as well. I will take the highest grade of all of your attempts from last Friday, today, and tomorrow in your grade, in your one grade for the listening portion for this class. All right, guys, we'll stop there for today. Uh, yes, Adan? Uh, I made the... Um, the... the, the. Uh, the podcast i made the podcast but i forgot to upload it to, to upload it to uh, to onedrive uh, is it okay if i um if i upload it to, today or yes please upload it today i'm gonna ask everyone uh it, to to finish your podcast for today All right so if you have any pending podcast please finish it for today um, and I will take a look at it starting tomorrow. All right, again, I want to try to finish everything by tomorrow. So podcast for today, ePortfolios for tomorrow. Okay. All righty. Yeah. yeah, there's no problem. Go ahead and upload it. And um, if you haven't created it, go ahead and create it and upload it for today. Yeah, because I uploaded it to, to the Anchor but I forgot to, to upload it to, um, yeah. Android. And, and, you know, just, just kind of put yourself into my shoes guys. So I'm for the, the e-portfolios, I'm looking at notion that one list, right? That's, that's where I go. Um, and for the podcast, I'm using the podcast ledger. That's that, uh, Excel spreadsheet in Microsoft teams. That's what I go to every week. I go down that list, I click each one of your links, all right? And so uh, just make sure that, yeah, if you're in Anchor, if you're in another place, just make sure that I, I know how to access that. In this case, in the podcast and the Excel spreadsheet, just go in and update that, that link, right? So that I, I'm going to the right place. Okay. All right. All right, any other questions?
All right. I guess we'll stop there, guys. Um, yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully your exams are going well for, for, this, uh, th for this week. And uh, tomorrow we'll meet one more time. Th tomorrow will be the, the last live session scheduled. Of course, if, again, make sure you're reaching out to me if you have doubts, questions, uh, or just want me to look at your ePortfolio. Let me know. Send me a, a message in chat. All right, guys. Thanks. Have a good day today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Take care.